putting up, uh, installing two pieces for the uh, Turner Prize exhibition. I'm here with the uh, curator and the art handlers to, to um, basically just oversee the installation. One piece hasn't been shown at Tate before, so it's a line drawing in steel, so I have to place each piece in relation to the other. Yeah, down about six inches. Do you want me to put a mark on it? Yes, please. Uh -oh. I won't make kind of working drawings before I start making. I make directly with materials, so there's always something thrown up out of just the business, the day-to-day -day business of working in the studio. So it could be making steel, making kind of fairly lightweight steel work is just like using paper and a glue gun and a pair of scissors, but on a bigger scale. So you can put something together very quickly, take it apart. I usually work on four or five things at once. So if I get stuck and have to kind of work my way out of a problem, I'll go to something else or go to a, an engineer or a supplier or find something that, that grabs my attention, um, go and see some art, you know. That's, that's how I start. The work has quite strong relationships with some things that you might see in the world and it's a celebration of those um, daily or almost sometimes mundane things that you might come across. They had to kind of double take quite often. The table piece is, is a direct relationship to a period in my life where I worked at the same spot for five years and got to know and negotiate the same area of workstation very well. I think that's a common thing in human life these days is you know the territory very intimately. And so key to understanding the work is that. The body of the table piece is painted and it's got a salted, a salted top, which is essentially um, me laying on about a quarter of an inch of salt water and then allowing the water to evaporate, just leaving the salt to describe the level. The Turner Prize in 92, it seems like a long time ago. It's always ever present. I enjoyed it immensely, the whole, the whole thing. It got very, very noisy, but I had a great show at Chisholm Hill Gallery in London around the same time and the work was going very well. So came at a high point. From an artist's perspective, I didn't see it as a competition. I don't think anybody in the group, certainly a group of artists in that time, it was the shortlisted artists didn't see it as a com competition, publicly at least. And I think you either do it or you don't. Uh, so I thought, I felt it was a celebration of something and I think it brings um, contemporary art really into very sharp focus, which can't, can't be a bad thing.